Hello everyone, Aiden from Be In Touch here, and today I wanted to walk you through one of my favorite features. As a marketing fanatic, we have implemented a Facebook ads integration tool. This is a really, really helpful tool for anyone who is planning to do or already doing any marketing on Facebook or any sort of Facebook advertising. This will allow you to import your lists from Be In Touch into Facebook to allow for retargeting. So let's say, for example, you have a list of new home buyers or brand new leads that have filled out a form on your website and just come into your pipeline. You can sync these people up with the Facebook advertising platform and it'll allow Facebook ads to be shown to these people while they're in the decision process of deciding whether to work with you or not. You can also do the flip side. So if you create an ad that has an opt-in form on Facebook itself, on the Facebook ad platform, you can then sync those leads from Facebook into your Be In Touch pipeline so you can start sending them automated drip emails and things like that. So Facebook leads work with Be In Touch and Be In Touch leads now work with Facebook. Really exciting stuff and really easy to do. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So we're going to start with the first piece of syncing our lists, our contacts from Be In Touch into Facebook. And to do that, we're going to need to go into our marketing tab. We're going to go into social marketing, social media marketing. Okay, and this is going to be all the automated content we give for you. But you'll see right around here, it'll say Facebook ads beta. Okay, and this isn't a beta test, guys, so if something doesn't work quite right, just get in touch with us and we'll make sure it gets fixed for you and working correctly. So I'm going to just log out. So, I can, so you'll start with this screen and it'll say log into Facebook. You're going to need to connect this with your Facebook account that is running the ads or planning to run ads with. All right, so once you get logged in, you'll see here we have the audience builder, and we're gonna, just going to go here and create a new one. Cool. This will allow us to create the audience from Be In Touch that we want to then send to our Facebook ad platform. So we're gonna, first going to choose which database we want to pull the information from. You have mortgages, recruiting, and partnerships, so you can target any of those databases. Uh, most of us are going to do mortgages the most common thing you're going to use this for is targeting your new leads and prospects, which is what we're going to do right now. Leads and prospects. And prospects from in touch database. Okay. And then here's where you're going to select which ad account within Facebook you want to upload this audience to. And then see so you have Be In Touch ads. This is what we use for Be In Touch. Yours will probably say the name of your company. If you don't know how to create an ad account, you can just search that really quick on Google, how to create a Facebook ad account. And you'll find probably the first, second thing will walk you through how to do that. Make sure that's created before you get to this step. And then you can check the box. Okay. Here you can select which owner uh, you want associated with these. Um, if you're pulling leads from a certain place, you're going to want to make sure you select the person who's associated with those leads. And then here is where we're going to actually add to our audience. So we can add people from specific custom groups that we've made. We can add them from the marketing sequences. Uh, we can add us people who come from a certain source. So people who are already coming from maybe our Facebook posts, we want to retarget them. We can use this feature, the loan purpose, and the founded date. So here, because we want leads and prospects, we're going to do the marketing sequence. Um, as you see, marketing sequence equals lead. That's going to bring in our leads. And then marketing sequence equals prospect. That's going to bring in our prospects. And hey, just for fun, we'll even add our long-term follow-ups. You know, people who have sort of fallen off in the process. Uh, they, we can retarget to them too. That's a very beneficial audience. And then all you got to do is simply hit create. 
and it'll create this custom audience for you here. You can see the parameters applied to it, when it was created, and then this should populate with a number of contacts and a couple of seconds here. Um, depending on how large your lists are, guys, it's going to depend how long these things to take to populate and sync and things of that nature. All right, and once that's done, you can see we have our contacts here. And then to actually, this is created within Be In Touch now. Now we need to actually send it to our Facebook ad platform. So we're going to check this box, sync selected with Facebook. Okay, and this might take a minute or two as well, depending on how large your list is. So just we'll give that a little bit, and then we will go over to Facebook and check that out. Boom. So once that is done, it's going to bring us back to the Facebook ads integration screen again. And that's when we are now going to go to our Facebook ads manager and check if this custom audience was synced correctly. Okay. So within the Facebook ads manager, uh, you can get to your custom audiences from this top piece right here with the three lines. It's going to give you your most frequently used. But if you want to see all the tools that the Facebook ad manager gives you, there they are. And then you're going to see audiences right here. So we'll click on that. It'll bring us back to the audiences page. And then boom, right there at the top, you're going to see our leads and prospects. Okay. All from the Be In Touch database. When you want to actually use them in an ad, you'll go to create an ad. And we'll just continue with this one so you can get a sense. And then that's going to take us to our regular Facebook ad creation screen. Everyone's will look like this, where we'll, instead of choosing our audience by their location, their age, or their interests, we can now use this section here to add our custom audiences. So all you have to do to do that, you click in this custom audience section, it should give you the full list of all the ones you've created. You can see ours that we just made, leads and prospects, which includes 2,000 people. Boom. And it's as simple as that. You can see it all took place up here. You can see the reach is about 3,000, how many we're going to get a day, how many leads that Facebook is estimating we'll get from this. Okay. And if all you want to do is target all of these leads and prospects, you don't have to fill out any of the rest of the targeting information. If you want to only target leads and prospects from certain cities or areas or counties, you can add that stuff in here. Um, you can go more specific on these leads and prospects, or if you just want to target all of them, don't touch anything else. So that's the first half of this. That's how you're going to add your audiences into your Facebook ads manager. Now let's talk about if you have leads that you're getting from a lead form or some sort, something along those lines in the Facebook ad manager currently, how you can then bring them in to be in touch. So this is going to bring us back to the Facebook ads screen here, this dashboard, this database, and instead of using the audience builder here, we're going to do the flip side and go into lead downloads. Okay. So this one's pretty simple. You will have to be using an ad that's using a uh, lead form. I'll show you guys how to create one of those real quick. It's pretty simple. So when you go to create a new ad, it's going to ask you what your objective is. You're going to see here, it's lead generation. You'll name the campaign. Okay, and you'll do all the same stuff that you always do. But when you're creating your ad copy, okay, you're going to see here, it allows you to create a lead form. Okay, so there's a bunch of different forms. And this basically allows people to sign up for your offer without leaving Facebook. Okay. Um, you can put a little intro, a headline, you can add an image, layout, play around with this guys, get used to it, make it look how you want to look. And it's always going to show you this preview here. So if this stuff looks a little confusing, just make a change and it'll show you a live preview of how it's going to look here. Uh, but this will be, they click your ad, this form pops up right from Facebook, and then it'll acquire your leads, um, acquire people's information without them ever having to leave Facebook, which is a big reason that some people don't 
fill out forms or click on ads because they they don't want to leave Facebook. Um, they know it's safe here. They know they're, what they're doing here. So you can use this lead generation tool. You can create forms, and then any lead that signs up, you can have it automatically sync into your Be in Touch database. So that's what we'll be doing here. Okay, so here we're going to do Be in Touch. You would choose your company's page. You will choose the form that you created. You give each one a title, so you'll just see it in this list. Okay, we just have a test form here, and then you'll name the source of all the leads that come in from that form. Okay, so this will be Facebook lead form. So now all the new leads that are populated from this in your mortgages tab, in your leads section, will have this Facebook lead form as the source so you can tell which leads are actually coming in from Facebook. You add a new one, it'll say syncing, boom, and then you'll see it will appear right below. Okay, it'll also tell you the number of leads that have come in, so you can always come back and check this, um, and then you can always resync it if you don't think it's right or you want to update it or refresh it or whatever. All right, everyone, that is the Facebook ad integration from Be In Touch to Facebook and from Facebook back to Be In Touch. Hope that helps you guys bring in a lot more leads and close a lot more deals. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to be in touch.